Hi, and welcome to Harmonizing Your Horse. Today, we're at Pinewood uh, Training Center in Orangeburg, South Carolina, and we're going to take a look at some of the older, retired horses here. Um, we see more and more of these guys who are pushing 30s and getting, you know, 35 old horses who are now retired. In old times, these horses probably would have had not, not, not such a great retirement. They, um, they probably would have been, you know, not put out to pasture, but probably taken care of um, because they didn't have a job anymore. But horses these days are now, they're, they're intelligent and they're, they're important enough to people that they want to keep them around till they kind of live out their life. This is Ernie. He's about 30 years old. We've been working on him for probably the last 10 years in part of his retirement just to keep him comfortable and moving. And what we find is that this helps. You can see that he's got a good hair coat. Even though he's pretty old and not used for anything, his top line is still at least holding its own. He doesn't have very many teeth left. And oftentimes that teeth situation can cause balance issues. Let him go. And we can see here that in order to reach my treat, he has to twist and turn that head. So chiropractic adjustment is very important for these guys. Every single nerve in their body has to pass through this joint at the top of their head, at their pole, to keep it functioning. And that includes all the stand-up muscle nerves, all the movement forward nerves, and all the other important things like heart and lung and, and GI tract kind of stuff. So we want to make sure that these old guys have range of motion in their head and neck so that they can have normal heart and lung function. Heart disease, lung function, allergies, all of those things are chronic problems for a lot of these older patients. So we want to make sure that we take care of those. And with these older patients, oftentimes, we do a little bit of acupuncture as well because that helps improve their pain situations. Many of them have lived long lives and will have had other issues in their muscle structure from injuries, from hard use. Sometimes they come to us three or four owners later when they may or may not have had such good care. And so their nutritional standpoint may be a little questionable. So that's where sometimes changing the nutrition in these guys can be helpful, but we don't expect that to be what makes them live to 40. What we expect that to do is to help them balance their, um, their structure and, and their function and keep them going until they get to that point when they are no longer able to make it. Um, oxygen is very important too and a lot of these older horses will have respiratory issues. We can see that oftentimes based on tongue and gum color. We can see in Ernie that his teeth are discolored and he's losing most of those incisors or getting ready to. They're very short. And his gum color, I don't know if you'll hold us still for long enough, his gum color is a little off. It's kind of grayish purple, so that lets us know, too, that there's some things on, going on with oxygen perfusion in his blood. That's where things like chiropractic and acupuncture can help. It can help him continue to breathe well and get as big and deep a breath as he possibly can so that he has better perfusion. We know that he has a heart murmur. And that also accounts for a part of that discoloration in his gums. No, he's not ridden anymore. He lives in a pasture where he has mates that, he's, that he is missing at the moment. But we know that that's important for him to be able to live in that pasture without injuring himself and without damaging other things. So we want to make sure that he's able to breathe and eat well. Um, with these older horses, too, we want to make sure that they have good foot care and he's a little overdue for his trim but that foot information what they gain from having a normal foot balance 
is going to help with their balance overall. It's going to keep them moving. It's going to keep them being able to use the muscles that they still have. Oftentimes, older horses maintaining their weight. Sometimes it's related to dental work, but more often it's also related to GI tract damage over time. So we want to make sure that, one, we keep them chiropractically adjusted so the GI tract is working, and two, that we keep that GI tract buffered to help them continue to gain as many nutrients as they possibly can. Um, with these older guys, you can see that he's a little fidgety. He definitely misses his buddies. He's become very happy to be in the herd, and that's a protective mechanism. But for him, it's a relatively new behavior. And we'll see that with older horses when they don't feel as comfortable about being able to defend themselves. Herd environment means safety. So oftentimes, they need their herd, oh boy, they need their herd to be able to feel safe and to be able to get away from the potential predators that they think might be out there. And they will also develop protective mechanisms toward other herd members. So sometimes they don't want to come away from a herd member who's debilitated because they feel that they are the caregiver for them. They need to be there to help that other member. So keep this in mind when you're working with them. Make sure their nutrition is up so they can be focused. Make sure that their balance is there. Make sure that they have good dental care as they lose their teeth to help them have good balance in their mouth. Um, so with older horses, we want to make sure that we look at them as a, at an overall aspect. We want to make sure that they are able to function the way that they need to. And I don't know if he's, we're probably going to take a, a break and adjust him after this so that he feels more comfortable and send him back to his herd so that he can continue to live in that kind of harmony until the end of his days. For harmonizing your horse's health and geriatric care, keep in mind, look at the overall health of the animal. And don't quit <laughs> doing normal maintenance on them just because they're out to pasture. They still need those maintenance schedules. Now that we've finished our adjustment, he's going to feel a lot more comfortable when he goes out to play with his herd mates. He'll be able to move away from the bossy ones who are irritable without hurting himself or damaging any of those old injuries that he's been carrying around. We might, with older guys like this, want to acupuncture them at least once or twice a year and definitely adjust them as needed, sometimes as often as every three months. Oftentimes people don't want to put the money into doing it every month, but it would definitely benefit the horse to keep them moving and keep them fluid and help to reduce those heartaches and injuries that occur in the older animals that are on pasture retirement. We want to make sure that he's got good oxygenation and he's more comfortable now, he's relaxed a little bit, and he's more happy. So when you have those retired gentlemen and older mares, don't forget to keep their maintenance and harmonize their retired years.